Hello guys, you're listening to English Made Simple. This is episode number 80, numero 80. What? Numero 80? No way, Jose! Welcome to English Made Simple. My name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net. How is it going, muchachos? Having an awesome weekend? I certainly hope so. The other day we had a heat wave uh, here in Melbourne and today we are freezing. What a difference. It's no wonder that people often get sick with flu in Melbourne. One day it's extremely hot and the next day it's freezing. There is a sudden change of temperature that's, uh, that's normal for Melbourne. That's Melbourne for you. Some parts of Australia are actually cold, not sunny. We don't have sunshine here 24-7. No sorry. Enough about the weather, enough chit chat, Milena. Let's begin this show, shall we? Firstly, uh, let me send a special greeting to Angel from Guadalajara. Orale way, or should I say good day, mate? That's an Aussie greeting, it's an Australian greeting. Good day, mate. Angel is preparing for IELTS uh, very soon, so good luck, amigo. The best thing about IELTS is that it forces you to learn and speak English. The worst thing about it is that you have to do it. For those of you who don't know what uh, IELTS uh, is, it's an acronym actually. Uh, it's an English exam and it's one of the requirements uh, needed for immigration or if you're planning to move to an English speaking country or if you're planning to study overseas. Sometimes uh, the countries will ask you to do an IELTS um, exam to test your level of English. This is definitely the case uh, with Australia, if you're planning to come to Australia, that is. Angel, you will do well, I am sure. All the best with IELTS and keep listening to English Made Simple Podcast. I hope it helps you out. Awesome. And uh, another quick uh, hello to a listener from Vietnam who left a really nice comment in the Facebook group. He appreciates my uh, transcripts, uh, my transcription. Woo! Someone's reading them. That's amazing. Uh, hello to Kien Yen from Vietnam. Oh, hola, Kien. Uh, hola, Kien Yen. And sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, you know who you are. Thanks again and keep listening. Okay, so last week uh, we learned about uh, going to the doctors. And uh, we also learned about what the phrase at the doctors means. If you're new to the show, first of all, welcome. <laughs> Please go back to episode number 79 or 78 uh, to get familiar with some vocabulary uh, we covered uh, last, uh, last time. If you find yourselves at the doctors, for example. Cool, amigos. So, for today, I promised to do an episode about going to the supermarket. I love going to the supermarket. I love it so much. When my friends ask me, Hey, Milena, how was your weekend? Yeah, it was awesome, I say. I went to the supermarket on the weekend. It was really amazing. You should go. I stayed till late. I went through all the aisles. It was awesome. It was great fun. You should go. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course, I'm being sarcastic and ironic. Uh, when I'm at the supermarket, all I want to do is get in and get out as fast as possible. I don't know about you, but I hate waiting in the queue me carga hacer fila or um or hacer cola for example that's in spanish i hate being in crowded public places or waiting in the queue uh but that's just me my, it's my personal thing uh there could be somebody out there who enjoys uh spending time at the supermarket who knows right and uh guess what amigos guess what I have a secret to share with you. When I was a teenager, my very first job that I had in New Zealand, um, it was a part-time job. It was actually at a supermarket. I worked at a supermarket as a checkout girl. <laughs> I worked uh, as a checkout girl, fui cajera. <laughs> I was working as a checkout girl for about three years um, while I was uh, in school. Just, you know, some extra cash, just some extra pocket money. Cool. 
I remember the first week after working at the supermarket, after scanning all the items at the checkout, I would go home, go to bed after work, and all I could hear in my head was beep, beep, beep. That sound after you scan the items at the checkout. Beep, beep. And after a while, you just get used to it. You just get used to the noise. Cool, right? So that's the secret about me. That's how my career started <laughs> at the supermarket. So today, guys, I'm going to explain what you can find at the supermarket and some terms related to the supermarket. Um, how to ask questions if you are looking for something in the supermarket, for example. First of all, there are two big supermarkets in Australia. One is called Coles and the other one is called Woolworths. There are other supermarkets coming on the scene, but for now, I will uh, reference these two, okay? In the US, I think there is uh, Walmart. I have never been to the US, but this is what I hear in the movies, so I assume that's a big one there, and there could be other supermarkets there as well. And in Chile, we have Jumbo and Lider, the two big ones there too as well. So when we go to the supermarket, we go there to buy something called groceries. Groceries is the term used to mean uh, household items, supermarket items, basically things you buy at the shop. Before I go to the supermarket, what I normally do is write a shopping list of items I need to buy from the supermarket. A shopping list is lista de compras para el supermercado. That's in Spanish, a shopping list. Most of the things uh, that I would need to buy from the supermarket are for the pantry. Pantry is like a storage in the kitchen at home. That's where you store canned items uh, like uh, spices, sauces, dry foods like sugar, flour. And, of course, Nutella. Nutella sits in the pantry. Uh, canned items, I mentioned canned items. Uh, in Spanish, it's latas de alimentos en conserva. Things like uh, tuna fish, uh, canned vegetables, and so on. It's like conserved food. Great. You can also store things like sauces and spices. Salsas and condimentos. Sauces and spices go in the pantry. Now, when you arrive at the supermarket, the first thing you will take is either a trolley or a shopping basket. A trolley is carro de supermercado in Spanish. A shopping basket or just a basket, it's canasto or canasta in Spanish. This is what you need to have when you walk around the supermarket and take items off the shelves. Shelf is a singular, shelves is plural, that means estantes in Spanish. If you imagine a supermarket, it's full of shelves and that's where the food is placed on the shelves and then you take the items off the shelves. There are different departments inside the supermarket. Um, departments is like sections. You have a fruit and veggie section, you have meat and seafood section. Uh, in Australia, we have something called deli, a bakery, confectionery and snacks, stationery, soft drinks, freezer department, or frozen food section, and so on. Let me quickly explain what these departments are. I mentioned deli. Deli in Spanish is fiambreria. This is where you can buy cold meats. Uh, also, cheeses, already prepared salads, cheese platters and dips, and things like that. In the fruits and veggie section, uh, this is obvious. Uh, this is where you can buy different types of fruit and veggies. Veggies. This is short for vegetables. So we don't say vegetables or vegetables. It's pronounced vegetable or vegetables excellent then we have bakery department 
bakery is where you can buy pastry uh, or baked goods like breads, uh, buns, muffins and cakes. Yum! Uh, in Spanish, this is panaderia and pasteleria or reposteria. All the yummy stuff. <laughs> uh, then we have confectionery and snacks. In Chile, this is called golosinas and cocktail. Confectionery is a word that describes uh, lollies, candies and sweets and things like that. Um, so in confectionery and snacks section, this is where you can get lollies, candy, sweets. You can also get bags of chips, popcorn, anything you need for a party, for example. And then we have freezer section or frozen food department or frozen foods section. And this is where you buy frozen foods, frozen goods, uh, frozen items such as frozen vegetables, fruit and meat uh, and ice cream, of course. <laughs> the section, this section is called Alimentos Congelados in Spanish. I like to spend my time at the stationery department. <laughs> I don't know, I just like stationery. Stationery, what's that? That's a uh, libreria in Spanish. This is a place where you can buy office items or things for school, like pens and papers and notebooks and, and books maybe and um, stuff like that. Stationery department. Uh, meat and seafood. Meat and seafood. Carnes y pescados. Meat uh, is carne, seafood is pescados in, in, in Spanish. Uh, seafood is a term that refers to the animals uh, in the sea, like fish, mussels, prawns, or oysters even. Uh, as for the meat, uh, you can find things like mince meat, uh, chicken, pork, and beef. Beef is a meat that comes from the animal cow. Now we have the section drinks, drinks in general, botilleria. This is where you can buy soft drinks or fizzy drinks, bevidas. Uh, soft drinks are drinks with gas like Coca-Cola, Sprite, Schweppes and so on. We say fizzy drinks or soft drinks. And uh, lastly, you can buy toiletries uh, at the supermarket, toiletries, uh, things for the toilet. Perfumeria in Spanish. Um, this is where you buy all the stuff to do with hygiene. You can also find painkillers uh, like Panadol, for example. Sometimes you can find same things as you can find at the pharmacy. Also, sometimes you can even buy hardware things or tools at the supermarket. In Spanish, it is ferreteria, hardware tools this is for guys who like to build things okay awesome so many new words for you guys now let's imagine you're at the supermarket and you cannot find olive oil for example you cannot find where olive oil is you can politely ask a staff member uh, the staff usually wear uniforms and you can easily recognize who they are simply ask them Excuse me, can you please tell me where I can find olive oil? Aceite de oliva. He or she will respond and say something like, Oh, just go to aisle 10. It's in aisle 10, for example. Aisle is a name for pasillo in Spanish. For non-Spanish speakers who are listening, uh, this is a passage in between rows of seats or between cabinets and shelves. It's an interesting word, this one, aisle. There is a silent S in this word. You can't hear it, but you will need to know how to spell it if you had to write it or if you had to read it somewhere. We spell it as A-I-S-L-E and it's pronounced simply aisle. <laughs> I know, right? Who would have thought there is an S in that word? But there is, and it's very, very common to hear, okay? Aisle. You know when you're traveling and uh, you go on an airplane? Uh, you can either get a window seat or an aisle seat. I don't know if you noticed that before. Cool bananas, okie dokie. 
Now that you know about this word aisle, next time you're looking for an item at the supermarket and you cannot find it, ask the person who works there. Excuse me, in which aisle can I find Nutella? In which aisle can I find rice? Arroz. In which aisle can I find coffee or tea? Cool. I recommend you practice that phrase, okay? And finally, now that you've uh, bought everything you need, it's time to go and pay for your items. Go to the checkout and pay for your goods. I use goods and items, they, they mean the same thing. A checkout operator is a person who works at the checkout. We call them checkout operators. They will scan your items and pack for you if you wish. They might even say, want to carry back? That's with my awful Australian accent. <laughs> Do you want to carry back? That's how they ask usually. They say it pretty quickly, so be prepared. Uh, that's how the teenagers speak nowadays, really fast, fast and furious. Do you want to carry bag? What this means is, do you want a bag? Do you want a bag? Do you want a bag to put your things inside the bag? And that's it. That's it, amigos. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hope you learned something new. If you're curious about the names of specific food items that you can find at the supermarket, I recommend... You check out, uh, go to coles.com.au uh, and woolworths.com.au. These are two biggest uh, supermarkets in Australia. I will put the links in the transcription so you can check it out. You can browse the site. Uh, just go and have a look and check out the names of each specific item. It comes with pictures, which is good. It's going to help you uh, memorize the names of each item. Awesome. It has been awesome hanging out with you guys. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, hasta la próxima.